What's going on guys? Happy holidays to you. And today's video, I really want to go over the top 10 hats of the year. For me personally, this is an unbiased opinion because as you guys know, I collect a lot of White Sox hats, but it's only one White Sox hat in this whole clip. Not only that, we're also going to go over the best redrop of this year, but also the best hat of the year. So we got three different categories to go through. So we're just going to go ahead and get right into it. Now, it's about three hats, three or four hats that I don't have in my collection. I did have it. I did have a few once upon a time, but now I don't. Long story. So the first one is the Ty Mathis World Fair Mariners that dropped in Chicago. This hat was crazy when it first came out. So clean, super nice. I definitely have to say this is a top 10 hat. It's super clean. I used to have it, don't have it anymore. Long story, but since I'm from Chicago, my guy was able to secure me this hat. Super happy about that. Now, the next hat is the Jason Metz. Jason Metz dropped earlier this year and then it redropped again a few months ago. And yeah, not much needs to be said about this. It's very clean, very classy. You can wear this with anything. So I really love the Jason Metz a lot. I'm down for it. Now, the other hat that I'm going to say has really fire the Indian script. Indian script became panic earlier this year. Uh, I was able to secure it. I ended up getting rid of it because after a while, you just get kind of sick of holding on to hats that you don't really wear as much. But this has definitely panic. Uh, it's also more panic because it redrops this week. It redrops this week at High Club. Stock is low. It's going to be very, very hard to cop. But it's definitely a very, very good hat. Well, I get it. No, because I had it before, but it's definitely a really, really good hat for sure. Now, these other hats, I'm going to show you guys that I have. These are the hats I still have in person in hand. And these are hats that I really like a lot. So I'm gonna show you guys that right now in the next clip. All right, guys, so this is the Big Walt Diamondbacks crossover from Pro Image America in Minnesota by RMDC. This hat's very clean, very nostalgic. It's a crossover. I love it. And congrats, my guy. Now, this is a Chicago crossover script by Toppers. This hat is so clean. I had to get this. They don't ship to the United States anymore, but I was able to get a hookup with it. I love this script, and this is the best White Sox script that came out this year, 100%. Now we're going to move over to Hat Club. Now, this is the Eminem-inspired Detroit Tigers. This is from the Ox Pack that came out this year. This is the one of the cleanest ones, the best one that came out of the new Ox Pack this year, for sure. Now we're going to go back over to Pro Image America with the late registration Kanye Cubs. Such a clean hat, great inspiration. RMDC killed this, top designer of this year, 100%. I love this hat, amazing man, amazing. And then we're gonna swing all over to Crown Minded. Oh my God, this crossover Nats, this is the second one I had, you know, they definitely helped me secure this one, so I really appreciate it. This hat is crazy. I'm definitely keeping this one. I didn't keep the last one. Keeping this one 100% for sure. One of my favorite people in the hat community is Canadian Dad Bob. He dropped this Cosmos Spacely that dropped at Rap Rally Caps. This hat is absolutely crazy in hand. The green with the blue oh, the, and the compass. Yo, my guy, you killed this. Congrats. Now, this Mac Miller inspired kids album was the best redrop of this year. This drop on a network app, it shut the app down. Not only that, people were able to cop multiple because it glitched. And this hat was completely panicked for everybody. 
All right, so now that you guys saw that, I'm glad you guys see, you know, tell me guys' opinion. I want to know exactly what you guys think, how you guys feel about it, how you guys feel about everything I've shown. Now, the hat that I feel like is the best hat of this year is the Gone Girl Cardinals. This hat is so clean. I slept on it, 100% slept on it. I really did. But this hat is so clean and so fire. The metallic stitching in this is crazy in person. I've seen it in person. I can't find this hat. <laughs> this is the one hat that I did wish I had. I'll find it eventually. For right now, I'm fine. But I think this hat is the best hat of the year. A lot of people will disagree, and that's okay. Because everyone's entitled to their own opinion. Now, there's a lot of hats in this section of hats that a lot of people don't like or everyone has a different clip for their top 10 which is cool you know what i'm saying like it's a community and we're never going to agree on anything oftentimes so that's it man like this year of collecting hats has been fun i'm excited for next year which is literally in like two weeks <laughs> but i know it's gonna be some great hats coming out still gonna be collecting white Sox hats and yeah, man, that's really the only video. I wish you guys a happy new year, Merry Christmas, happy Kwanzaa, all that, happy holidays. So you guys have a good one and see ya.